Na gut. Dann los. Hello, I'm the Dad and today I'm here at Gamescom. Um, we found something pretty interesting. Um, every Vita was actually um, kind of blocked. If you press home, you could not leave the games like yet last year. But today we found something pretty awesome. This Vita is not blocked. And this Vita is running the firmware 2.60.011 debug so pretty awesome something what I've looked for um, or you see this new entry Mac address USB it's empty but it's a difference um, between the previous debug version which was the 1.69.111 you can see it from the uh, last video let's go to the debug settings system update the update server URL empty and show pub list like in the last version then you have net emulation, you can face 3G and stuff like with, well, kind of like with the last version. Let's check the changes from the previous and actual version. I think, okay, nope. Um, you can, um, you have new debug ver uh, stuff for the trophies, and then you can actually change your PSN account, which would be really, really awesome for retail. Then, okay, there will, okay, location data device model. You can change it between system dependent model and emulation model. This is a new entry, it wasn't visible in the uh, last version. Okay, system. The button behavior for the for like behaving like a Japanese or European PS Vita. Then all of the other stuff was already available in the um, previous debug version. This region settings seems to be new. I will change it to Europe. Okay, I won't change it because the video would restart. Core dump, like with the last one, you can dump these and... Oh, that's interesting, uploader, uploader URL. That was, would be interesting to do, but the video has no Wi-Fi, he has no public free Wi-Fi and I'm not sure how this works. So we won't do it. Then activating, that is for the activation, um, for the key. Um, this one is activated for nearly 90 days get a good catch of this key if you own the debug vita but not a license this is for um, well uh, activating the debug version so you um, can actually use it I think these settings were um, the same like last year this is for um, I think installing P um, PKG files for like the package installer so it's the same like last year in the power settings there is an off and after 60 minutes um, option it would be really good for the retail vita to change it to off so you can leave your Vita on if you have to do something. These things look the same like on the uh, normal Vita, languages should be the same, um, no new debug uh, settings, if there are new debug settings there would be a star. Um, I think these are the same, you can, um, MTP should be the uh, transfer protocol manager at least that's something what someone told me. You could update via Wi-Fi, so you could actually fetch the debug version. But the problem is, like we said, um, no public internet, so it's probably not possible. Otherwise, we could acquire the debug version, but we can't. I'm very sorry. Um, this was the settings. The error stuff are these debug um, things, like the store previews, which um, we can't use like no um, Wi-Fi so we can't use them. These star entries are um, yeah the back the back um, actually settings so these are new not possible on the um, normal Vita upgrade up, upgradable app is off so it's pretty interesting. Um and then we have the back utility check. Okay that was weird. Oh. Okay that's interesting better not play too much with it. Um, no, we don't want to delete anything. I think that should stay on the Vita. And last but not least, the package installer. Um, that's okay if we close the game or we can just reopen it. Okay, the content manager is not connected, but it should be the same like the last time. Um, yeah, I am that. We're here at Gamescom with the 2.6 debug version. See you soon.